What's going on guys, my name is Freddy Machine, and today I'm bringing you some Modern Warfare 3, and this is a freaking awesome gameplay. It is absolutely amazing, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail of the video. And first of all, what I want to say is the reason I'm allowed to boast about this gameplay and stuff to oh, it's awesome, is because it isn't mine, in fact, it isn't mine. A friend let me upload this because he actually ended up dropping this triple Moab solo by himself on terminal on modern warfare 3 quite a while ago i think it was within black ops 2's life cycle of the game being popular i don't know you'll have to correct me on that if i'm wrong but anyways it's freaking awesome and the reason i'm bringing you this is because like i said he can let me upload it and hopefully you guys can go over and add him on psn if any of you are psn players because let's be fair if you play modern warfare 3 and you like playing the game getting high, good scores high scores and all that this is the type of person you want to be playing with, a guy who can drop a triple Moab single-handedly and he's playing the objective throughout the whole video as you saw at the start there he's jumping straight on flags and even you'll see throughout the video he's jumping on flags and helping his team out and all that stuff but I don't really have like a specific topic I want to talk about today, the topic that I kind of want to discuss links in with this because I just want to dedicate this video to what actually is in the video because it's pretty amazing, you'll go on a lot of clan channels like I'm like Team Carnage, they don't have loads and loads and loads of solo triple mobs. So for a small channel like me to be bringing you guys a triple mob solo, it's <laughs> that's pretty good in my opinion. And the fact that it's not mine, I'm allowed to say that, like I said. But what we got going on here is using the ACR with extended mags and silencer, and he's just going to be running around the map, shredding people down throughout the entirety of the gameplay. So hopefully you guys can actually go add him. His name is Jellis123456789 on PSN. And I'll put it in the description if you can't spell that. It's all in capital letters. Capital J, capital E, capital L, capital L, capital I, capital S. And then the numbers 123456789. And no spaces, underscores or anything in between that. So please go and add him on PSN and play with him. That was the main reason for me actually actually uploading this gameplay, so he could have some more people to play with, because he still plays Modern Warfare 3 daily, so you definitely want to be going to add him if you play Modern Warfare 3, it'd be stupid not to in my opinion, and he's just, he's, he's the best player around like my area that I've seen, he's certainly better than me at this game, so if you're wondering, oh it's, I'm not going to be playing with that YouTuber called The Friendly Machine, yeah, this, this guy is a lot better than me at this game, and by chances, I'll probably be playing with him as well. So if you're playing with him and you want to add him, you'll probably be playing with me as well. And in this game, he actually has some funny moments as well, where he tries killing himself and he's not able to, which is kind of bullshit, because if I went up to a guy and shot him with dead man's hand, I know I'd be frustrated if I didn't die, but when you want to die by things like that, you tend to not die but when you don't want to die you tend to die in situations and it's just it just proves how messed up Call of Duty can be sometimes but the final mob he actually gets in this game it's so freaking fast I've just timed it and he ended up like 57 seconds from the fact where he got to the air flag because he like goes to the air flag he calls in two of the mobs which is a really smart thing to do because you know he needs to get the triple faster because there's not much time left in the game and he ends up getting the mob in like I don't know, it's like something crazy, like 57 seconds, not the whole streak, the whole streak's like a two minute streak, but right here, there's a dead man's hand thing, he's just going around on the floor, and I don't know that didn't kill him, he wants to die, because he goes and shoots barrels and stuff to kill himself on streaks, but like I said, the last the last streak, when he gets in his spot, and you'll know what I'm talking about, when he gets in his spot, at A, where he just starts shredding them down as they start, not, it's not a spawn trap, but it's just a really good spot to take advantage of, and it's really, to be honest, it does help the team if they can't get out to your flags, but he just shreds them down, shreds them, and it literally took him 57 seconds, because I've literally just timed this, from the moment he kills the first person at A, on the very last Moab streak, which is really far near the end of the game, so this is going to be kind of a long commentary, if you guys want to be aware of that now I'll be commentating through the entire thing but it is such a fast mob the, fa um, the last streak but the first one it's I'm not saying it's the slowest because it's you know a, a mob is pretty fast if you get it under 100 points into the game which he has and there's a mob count on screen right now he's got his first mob but this, the second and third mob man they're just absolutely out of this world I, d I don't know how he pulls this off to be honest I would have been sweating 
letting my hands and choking a lot of stuff he did in this game. And this game actually is a lot different to Ghost because this game actually requires something called gun skill. And what I mean by that is it takes actual skill to kill people, not like in Ghosts where you can just mow someone down with a honey badger because everyone seems to be using that gun. And there's a lot of times in this game where he just turns on people and just keeps firing, doesn't lose his cool, like, and knows where situations to turn away from, like there, like, he didn't want to challenge them, he knew that there was about five guys there, so he plays it smart. This game was a perfect example of a game where every time he made the right decision on his streaks, I don't know about in between when he dies sometimes, but every time when he was on his streaks, you see people, like, uploading mobs and stuff, and like, oh, I, I could have, I could have got the double. Or, oh, I could have I could have got even the Moab if they don't get the Moab. And they're like, oh, I could have done that if I hadn't choked and done the stupid decision. But he knows this map inside and out. He's got this map nailed, like, his home street where he grew up. He knows this map. He knows where they're going to be spawning. He knows where they're going to be. And he even knows where to go when, like, all the flags he's got for his team and where he doesn't have the flags. Like, say, if he's getting triple capped or he is triple capping. Which is just such a new, unique thing about this game. And what I found funny as well is this was his first ever Call of Duty. You see people starting in Call of Duty like me, like, you know, back when I was seven years old in, in COD 4 and stuff like that. This is his first Call of Duty. So it must be just granted with a, with a touch of being a reflex master on Call of Duty or something. But right there he gets a second mob. And I just don't understand how someone could pick up a game and say, oh, alright, yeah, we'll get a... Um, We'll get a gameplay to amaze the world right here online against people who've been playing Call of Duty for years. I honestly just don't understand that. I've never dropped a triple mob personally. And if I did, it wouldn't be solo like this gameplay. I just don't get it how he could do this solo. And right there, he kills himself again to get another streak. The last streak doesn't actually start until a bit further on from now. But in the gameplay, like as it plays through... It actually ends up skipping Earth exactly. I've wrote this down somewhere. Where is it? 8:41 minutes into the into the gameplay. I'll I'll tell you guys when it skips a little bit. I don't know why. It just kind of lagged a bit. My capture card was a bit laggy, but the quality's hopefully okay. I'm looking at it right now as I'm commentating, and it looks pretty. It looks pretty good. So hopefully you guys can understand that it's not fake. It is definitely a solo triple mob. He's with the same guys, and he's you know he's he's got the mobs and stuff in the bottom right hand corner where he's got his perks but right there come on man what, what was the that is what is wrong with the game sometimes sitting in corners and stuff like that but what I actually wanted to talk about today besides all I've said now and all the praise I've given this player which he deserves entirely is Call of Duty if they kinda took a turn for the worse because I mean you don't see this often on Ghost right a player who's just started out on the first Call of Duty I mean I know this player is exceptional but you don't see people dropping solo tri triple chems and stuff like that very often you just don't see it unless it's on like a hardcore game mode or the players are really bad and these are like average players they know how to drop shot they know how to kind of outsmart like you'll see guys when he's at A when he's on his streak at A at the final spot you'll see him like laying down waiting for him and stuff like that but in Ghost sometimes I have to rely on getting the real bad players and by the way that was where the clip just jumped right there I sometimes have to rely on getting bad players or even just like absolutely sweating my ass off to get even the double chems so a triple chem, I'm going to get it before Call of Duty Ghost ends or I'm going to get it on Ghosts eventually even if Advanced Warfare's out. But it's just going to be harder for me than on Modern Warfare 3 because I've actually been playing a little bit of Modern Warfare 3 with this player here who is showcasing this absolutely freaking awesome gameplay. And he's dropping Moabs every game and I've actually dropped quite a few. I've got one off a Moab, no one off a double Moab sorry on my first like game back into it fully I got on I got on last night and I got one off a double Moab and I didn't die it's just the fact that the game ended it was on a map that I didn't like called Mission and it was pretty it was okay I went like 50 to 3 but this player right here he drop. you can tell him to drop a Moab in a game and he'll just be like okay I'll do that okay I'll do it I'll do it and then he will do it he'll prove himself because he's got a godly internet as well that's another reason to play with him. Just go play with him if you play Modern Warfare 3. It's just such a smart thing to do. He's got a 12 ping. That's like one of the best internet connections you can get. And well, not one of the best internet connections you can get, but he'll pull host every game. And by that is you'll always get the good spawns. You'll always have the advantage over the enemy team. And he didn't have that internet right now, so that just makes his gameplay a whole lot better. He actually had his really absolutely pooey internet, if you want to call it, at this point where it wasn't as 
wasn't even half or a quarter as good as the one he's got now. So God knows what he'll be doing on the game if he has people playing with him, not just solo. But right now he's actually at the A spawn trap kind of thing. It's not really a spawn trap, it's just playing it smart. I mean, why would you run away from here if you're in this situation? But this is where he gets a lot of kills fast. A lot and a lot of kills fast. But you saw it there, he turned on the guy and his, his teammate helped him out. In Ghosts, I would have died there, or anyone would have, because you die within like three shots on Ghosts. But this streak, like I said, it's just insanely fast, and I just don't know how he pulls off 97 kills and five deaths at the end of the game. That is the final mob there. He gets it just before the game ends, but like I said, he goes 97 to 5. How the heck can one do that solo, let alone without kill streaks? He could have he could have easily had a 200 or even 300 plus if he was running him out of salt streaks here. So hopefully you guys can go check him out. And that is it for today's gameplay, guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed. This is an absolutely astounding gameplay. And hats off to you, Jack, because he's called Jack the guy who sent me it or guy who let me upload it. Thank you all for watching. If you liked today's video, please give a like down below. And I'd, I'm not bothered as long as a guy gets these players, like who he gets to play with. Go add him. His, his game tag will be down in the description, as you can see it right there. Thank you all for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure bringing you this, so thanks, Jack, for letting me upload this, and thanks for being awesome at COD and actually getting this gameplay in the first place. So that's all for today, guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. I'll probably be uploading a video a day this weekend, so thanks for thank you all for watching again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>